Hello students, Dr. Amit Lal once again this side. There is an email shoot out from the AIMS authority to all those who have applied for INI CT November exam, which is scheduled for this Sunday. Please check your mailbox for this email and this contains a very vital information regarding the new exam pattern which is to be imposed from this November 23 exam. The mail clearly says that admit card has been uploaded on your dashboard and you can download, take a print and also practice the software by giving a mock test. Link is provided on the website against your own dashboard. It is important and mandatory to go through the mock test through the given mock link to be aware of the user interface of the exam. All those who are going to be appearing for the very first time, please check the portal once, attempt the test just for the giving sake of attempting a test because to have a feel of how the exam will look like on the D-Day. Next very very important part is scheme of examination is change. Now the scheme of examination says it is divided into four parts. As such the question paper will remain same of 200 MCQs but it will be divided into four parts. Part 1, 2, 3, 4 each containing 50 questions to be done in 45 minutes that is the entire 200 like before to be done in 3 hours but the important catch is as per this email these parts have to be attempted one by one once you finish off one part then only the other part will open up as per this mail also the questions the subjects nothing is written but one word which clearly says is that there is no definite pattern there is no definite syllabus or subjects to be decided for each part they say scheme of examination remains same that is the plus minus part however question paper will be divided into four parts on random basis it means there is not like need where you have part a of medical subjects part b of dental it's not like that right then there is like continuation of this email there will be sequence in which each part will be enabled to view or answer. You have to follow that sequence. Access to visible active part or view answer will be disabled once the 45 minutes is over. It means what? When you start your paper, you are at part 1. Part 1 will have 50 MCQs. You have to do this in 45 minutes. Right? You have to complete this in 45 minutes. Otherwise, it will automatically get submitted and you will be shifted to part 2 right so make sure you are finishing off one part set of 50 questions in 45 minutes and most importantly what they say is after lapse the examination will be submitted automatically important is each part will appear one by one for 45 minutes duration one time only you cannot go back you will be allowed only to attempt questions in the currently active part it means you cannot hop between two different sections or four different sections of the INI paper and this one section which you are currently working upon will be lasting for 45 minutes once this duration of part completes you can never come back again for any action so once 45 questions or 50 questions are done you cannot go back you will be starting 51 to 100 then 101 to 150 then 151 to 200 you will not be allowed to view or answer any questions in other parts than currently active. I don't know why there's such strict imposition by the INI body, but this is something like which is going to change the game of ranking this year. So condition your mind from today onwards, whatever tests you are attempting, whatever mock tests you are attempting on our app that is BDS to MDS, make sure you are solving questions like this. That is solve one test today, tomorrow, day after, at least have three, four tests practice in this regard. Then only your mind will be conditioned to work on Sunday like this. Okay. Also, it is important to read instructions before the exam. You get time. Okay. Always you get a time to read the instructions, what is coming on your computer screen before the test actually starts. It's very important. Now the catch here is or you can say the sad part is all those students who have tried giving this mock test on the AIMS website, the instructions say totally different thing than what I am showing you on the email. See, It's not what I am telling you, it's what the authorities have mailed us 
so that you get an idea of it now as per the mail you cannot hop between the sections but as per that mock test link you can hop between the sections i don't know what is going to be followed or maybe in next three four days time ini or aims body releases some notification or clarification further to this regard and we will update you on latest basis but till now my sincere suggestion is today day after tomorrow three four tests do one test per day mock test or any test of 200 questions solving like this pattern like first 50 questions in 45 minutes don't see those first 50 ever come to 51 to 100 in next 45 101 to 150 in third quarter and fourth quarter will be 151 to 200 without going back and correcting your answers or looking to that question so that your mind is little conditioned. I'm not saying it is like a big blow at the last moment, but INI Ames has been famous for that. Three years back when they changed the entire pattern, this was something a new bomb like this two days before the exam, that pattern is going to be changed. But it is for everybody, that is the good part. So not to worry about it. Now few tips regarding how to solve the paper, how many to attempt. I have been shooting videos related to that earlier also. You can check the uh, YouTube for that. Type how to attempt and type my name. You will get few videos on that. But attempt is something as high as possible. But it depends on your current state of mind on that day of paper. Okay. Any attempt more than 90 to 95 percent means you are already done with the paper. You know it very thoroughly. If your initial section goes very nicely your attempt is definitely going to be high right any attempt between 80 to 90 percent is also considered very good taking into account ini has some tricky questions but less than 80 percent attempt that is less than 160 or 170 questions is going to be a disaster to some extent because number of seats are pretty less as compared to neat exam so try fitting up in this then there are few tips which I want to give you very rationally. Do not attempt the questions which you have no clue about it. You don't know ABCD of any topic. Don't just put a gamble on that. Yes, do make guessworks for the topics you are aware of. Maybe you are not able to recall on that day of exam. Lastly, if there is a question which you have have some idea about it but you are not able to solve it and you want to attempt it means you want to push your attempt little higher in this question you attempting this question then don't look out for illogical options don't look out for rare options I'll just give you one example if there is a question describing a syndrome or the, some disease and you are like half worse with that disease or something and you are confused between say two or maybe three options at times do not choose the option which is very very rare to you after studying this much entirely you have been watching lectures you have been solving questions doubts everything just make sure you do not attempt the rarest of syndrome rarest of disease which you might not have ever come across or you just have uh, you can say just heard the name but have no idea. Usually the exam will not revolve around the rarest of topics. Usually. Okay. One or two or three questions might come out of the blue. But most of the time the questions will belong to the same topics which you have been studying with us all through the year. So wish you all the very best for INICET exam. Make sure you read your email even if you are not received some students say they have not received the mail still I would say make sure you watch this video completely read this bold highlighted text and practice again for 3-4 tests in a fashion of 50-50-50 and 50 MCQs in each section being attempted in 45 minutes and not going back to the previous section. Wish you all the very best. May you get the best seat, best rank as per your preparation. God bless you. Thank you.